Just imagine you found a helpless newborn puppy all alone on the side of the road. You couldn't bear the thought of what could happen to the poor creature if you just leave it there. So, you decided to take it home. But when you came home and you researched about the puppy's breed, your suspicion started, as you couldn't find anything that explained the significant bone structure that made this cute puppy look a bit goofy. It's only after a year that you got to know it wasn't a puppy of any kind. But what you took home that day was something completely different. What will you do? In today's video, we'll see a similar story. What exactly is that creature that left Andrew shocked? Dogs are considered as man's best friend. They're one of the most loyal and loving animals that we can have as pets. This was the reason why Andrew, who was 27 years old, loved dogs. He lived in a small village in the countryside where all of the residents knew each other and would help each other out. There was a forest alongside the edge of the village where Andrew used to take his childhood dog named Dobby on a walk. Andrew had bought Dobby when he was just a puppy and the two had formed a very strong connection straight away. One day, Andrew and Dobby were out on their usual walk in the woods enjoying the beautiful sunset and serene nature. Andrew would occasionally throw a stick for Dobby to chase after, and when the dog found it, he'd run straight back to his owner to demand that it be thrown again. After a particularly hard throw where the stick went out of his sight, Andrew stopped to admire a small stream as he waited for Dobby to bring the stick back to him. But after a few minutes, the young man began to get worried. Dobby hadn't returned to him, which was strange as the dog was usually very obedient and would come back to his master. Andrew started to get slightly suspicious and began to call out for Dobby in the hope that he could respond and would run back through the trees. But Dobby didn't come back. Andrew walked off in the direction that he'd last seen his dog run off and screamed Dobby's name. Just when he thought about leaving the woods to walk back home for Dobby to return by himself, he heard a strange rustling sound coming from a bush close next to him. Andrew immediately froze for a few moments, worried that it would be a wild animal about to attack him. Andrew kept on staring at the bushes, and he saw that it actually was Dobby who was stuck in the bush. He took Dobby out of that bush, but then Andrew saw that something was inside of his dog's mouth and his eyes widened. When Dobby was finally free, Andrew bent down in front of him to see what the dog had in his mouth. Dobby carefully laid the object in front of Andrew, who was stunned to see that it was a newly born puppy who hadn't even opened his eyes yet. Andrew was in awe of the tiny pup, and as he picked it up in his hands, the young man couldn't believe that such an adorable creature could exist. He felt an instant connection with the helpless creature, and he didn't want to leave it there in the woods, so he decided to take it home and raise it until it was strong enough to be adopted by another family. Days passed, and the first few days were hard, but then it became part of a family. Andrew had to wake up every two hours to hand feed the puppy with a small syringe and provide it with all the nutrients that its mother would have given it naturally. Dobby, as loyal as he was, would accompany them both every time. As the weeks went by, though the baby animal began to grow very quickly, Andrew began to notice some very strange things about the creature. It didn't look like any breed of dog that he'd ever seen before. He even searched on the internet, but couldn't find anything. However, the young man wasn't too bothered as he still loved the tiny puppy, and so did Dobby. One day, Andrew, Dobby, and Nugget, the name Andrew had given the young pup, were playing in the house when all of a sudden, Nugget climbed to the top of a tall bookcase. Andrew was astonished to see what the supposedly young puppy was able to do, and he began to realize that perhaps there was more to this creature than he originally thought. The young man arranged an appointment with his local vet. Andrew took Nugget to the vet and told the vet how he found it. After all the tests, the vet revealed to Andrew what the animal actually was. It turned out that Dobby and Andrew had actually found and raised a baby ferret. The vet told him that whilst these animals can be quite tricky to deal with and that they can sometimes bite people, what would happen next was up to the young man. He told Andrew that these animals could be kept as pets if he wanted to do that. When Andrew returned home from the vet, he let Nugget out of the carrier and watched Dobby. He immediately began to shower the small animal with love and attention. He starts licking the ferret all over. It was then when Andrew knew that he was going to keep Nugget, as Dobby was very attached to him and would miss his little friend greatly if he were to leave. But as well as that, the young man himself had become quite attached to the young ferret and couldn't imagine letting him go. He also knew that due to Andrew raising him by hand, Nugget hadn't learned all the valuable skills that he would have needed to survive in the wild and hunt for his own food. These types of skills and instincts would have been taught to the young ferret by his actual mother. However, due to him losing his mother so young, Nugget never had the chance to learn because of this. 
Andrew decided the only rightful place where the little ferret could call home was with him and Dobby. From two family members, they became three. So, this is it. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Till then, see you in our next video.